Hello YouTubers, thanks so much for checking out our video. For those of you that don't know us, I'm Trish. And I'm Jeff. We're with Just Dance, and in this YouTube series, we're going to be giving you tips to improve your posture, frame, connection, technique, and musicality in the basic patterns of the American Foxtrot. And today we're gonna to be focusing on your posture, your frame, technique, and musicality in the basic step of this dance. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so before we get into the nitty gritty of all of the details I just mentioned, we're going to demonstrate the basic step to start. So we're gonna take it over here and I'll be counting our rhythm as we dance it. We have slow, slow, quick, quick, and again, slow, quick, quick. And we'll show you from this angle too. It looks like this. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. Okay, so that's the basic step. And our rhythm is slow, slow, quick, quick. We'll get more into that detail a little bit later. First, we're gonna start with the topic of posture. So if you haven't seen any of our videos before and this is your first one, we're gonna break that down. Um, and the posture begins with how we align our blocks of weight so that we can move, dance, connect, and be nice and balanced throughout each weight change that we take. So to have our blocks of weight stacked, we wanna think of keeping our head back over our shoulders. Our shoulders are down. Our rib cage is neutral and closed in the front and the hips are also in a neutral position. So what this would look like if I had one of these movements out of place is possibly like the head coming forward or the head looking up or the shoulder slouching or arching too far back, sticking out the ribs or even um, dropping the pelvis forward or tucking it too far in. So these are all little tweaks we can do to overcompensate or try and make adjustments with our posture if something feels uncomfortable or awkward. But we really wanna try and find where that good alignment is in our body so that we can move more efficiently and comfortably so again head is back shoulders down ribs are closed pelvis is neutral once you can find and establish this position for yourself it'll be much easier to balance and connect with your partner which takes us into our next topic which is on frame and connection all right so frame and connection we're gonna keep that as we go through this uh, that posture so gentlemen, you want to invite the lady with your palm forward toward her. It goes toward the line of dance all the time uh, as you dance through. You're gonna draw her in beside you, or in front of you rather, and you, ladies, you're gonna kind of line it up if you had buttons here, maybe in his shoulder area. Okay. So whenever I walk up to my partner, I think of um, my nose going right towards his right shoulder. So I'm stepping a little bit offset to my left which is his right, that way I can connect into his right arm. So once you meet in the middle, gentlemen, you're gonna settle your hand on the wing of her back, as you can see, and you're gonna angle your hand slightly forward, fingers together. Ladies, you're gonna take your left hand and you're gonna place it on his upper arm. And I'm using my middle finger and thumb and lightly connecting where his, um, the V of his bicep is. And I'm focused on keeping my elbow um, out from my shoulder so it's not behind my body, it's not in front of the body, but right in a nice line there. The hand over here, guys, your left hand is held at the lady's eye level, okay, rather than up here or down here. And it isn't a Latin arm, it's a stretched arm. There is still a slight bend to the lady's right arm, okay. And gentlemen, your both elbows are up so that they have the same distance from the floor to your elbows on both sides. So we shouldn't be like this or like this, okay? So the same posture that she spoke about earlier, and then we have the frame back to it. Now to improve our connection, because this dance is a smooth dance and it has swing to it, which is a technical element, we also have lots of rotational figures and we want to keep a counterbalance between our partners. So if you look at us from this angle, we're not straight up and down with our body. We actually have a little bit of a leftward stretch. So ladies, you're gonna think of stretching over, up and over to your left and into his right hand. And leaders are going to be counterbalancing that by reaching slightly to your left as well. And lastly, in the floor, we have tracks. So I have my left foot on the outside. Her right foot is able to go between my feet. 
and then my right foot goes between hers and her left foot is on the outside of my right. And if you keep that alignment, all will go well. So that is your frame and your connection for the Foxtrot. Now let's get into some of the technique of the basic. Um, so Jeff is going to be demonstrating the leaders part and I'll be demonstrating the followers. And what we're going to talk about today is first where we place our feet for the basic, but then also how we articulate our feet. We're not going into every technical aspect of the pattern, but just some of these basic ones to start. So as far as uh, the foot positions for the leader, if you want to face that way, and I'm doing the follower, Jeff is going to begin um, by stepping forward with the left foot, followed by forward with the right foot. So two walking steps, followed by a chasse, which is a side step, and closing. And that is the basic. And the rhythm for that is slow, slow, quick, quick. So he'll do that one more time. We have walk, walk, side, close. Now ladies, you're going to do the natural opposite of that. So he's going forward. That means we're going to go back with our right foot. We have back, back. So two walks followed by the chasse. Our chasse goes to the right and that's a side close. So again, that's going to be back, back, side, close. Now, we're gonna talk a little bit about our articulation of the feet. So Jeff, if you wanna explain the forward part for the gentleman. All right. Okay, so going forward, I'm going to first of all, I'm going to use my heel for a heel lead, okay, on both of those first two steps. So I'm going to prepare my leg, I'm going to move my center forward toward my partner, and I'm going to push myself onto that left foot. I'm going to gather my other leg underneath me, I'm going to continue moving my center forward, and I'm going to push to my right foot. Then I'm going to lilt to the left, up and over, and together. Okay, so lilt is probably a term that maybe you haven't heard before. Lilt just is how we rise and fall over the course of one step. So when we're lilting, that means that we're rising and lowering in one step and then closing the feet. So it's, um, if you want to think of it as like you're going up and over a speed bump, that's one way to think about what a lilt is. Now that is just one action that you could use in the American Foxtrot, but it's um, more of like a stylistic choice that we'll go more into detail in a bit on that. Um, so for the ladies, with your footwork, you're going to be going backwards. So that means that you're going to reach through your right um, whole leg is going to reach back so you give space to your partner. That way you don't bump knees or step on feet or get your feet stepped on. From here you're going to roll from the, the front of your right foot to the heel of it. And as you do that, notice I'm releasing my toes of my sending leg. That's called a heel release. From here, after I release those left toes, my left foot's going to draw under me, keep in contact with the floor, and reach back again, creating space through my left side. Then again, as I press from my sending leg, the right leg, to the left, I'm going to roll through the left foot, releasing the toes of the right. And then the feet are going to collect. That's a brushing action that we're going to do before we change direction to do our side chasse. And that is some basic technique for your basic step. Next, we're going to go into our musicality and talk about two different styles that you can dance the foxtrot. Right, so we have um, some foxtrots are very lively, um, uh, excitable, if you will, and, and very uh, inviting for you to get on the dance floor. So with that type of a foxtrot, we want to do uh, what's referred to as a little bit of a bounce action, okay? So we're going to demonstrate what that looks like. All the postures and everything is the same. So we're going to um, do what we, everything that we mentioned earlier, and we're going to push ourselves with a little bit of a bounce on the landing. So a bounce, and a bounce, and a lilt. And a bounce, and a bounce, and a lilt. Okay? So that's one style um, of doing your foxtrot. Anything to add there? I mean, no, that just kind of gives it more of a playful, and I would say it's more of a social way to dance foxtrot. More conversational. Agreed. Okay, second style is um, a gliding action. Um, this action, again, it's up to the dancer, um, but the gliding action is for your slower foxtrots um, or your higher level dance foxtrots because the uh, nature of the steps that make up the higher levels will require that gliding action more so than the bounce action. Okay, it so also requires more control and technique and ability to execute this it this way. Right. 
Okay, so here's our gliding <laughs> actions. We're going to prepare in the same manner, and we're going to stay connected to the floor with our feet, and we glide, glide, and over, and glide, glide, and over. Okay, so that's your glide action in the foxtrot. Again, a personal choice. Okay, so that sums up our basic step in the Foxtrot for today. We'll do a quick recap because we did cover a lot of information. First, we talked about posture. Having good postural alignment will allow you to dance with better balance and allow you to connect better with your partner. So remember your blocks of weight, head, shoulder, ribs, hips. And then we talked about frame mm -hmm. and um, connecting. So man or invites the lady with the left hand. Lady is going to accept and walk to the right shoulder of, of the leader and then the leader places the right hand on the wing of the follower's shoulder blade. Follower is going to take the middle finger and thumb and find the V of the bicep. We have a leftward stretch and we are ready to dance. Now, one thing we didn't talk about, we can dance with a very close proximity or, or body contact. We could be in a close proximity without and we could also have an extended proximity, so which is better for a very beginner dancer so that you have a little bit more space. So you can play with those um, as you get more comfortable with the dance. And then the next thing we talked about was our, our basic step and our technique. We talked about the foot positions for the leader is forward, forward, follower goes back, back, followed by the chasse, where we're doing that lilt action, which is an up and down movement in one step. And then we talked about our footwork, and we'll scoot back this way. We talked about our footwork and maintaining contact with the floor, sliding and articulating through the feet, heel leads for the gentleman, toe releases for the ladies, and then uh, maintaining contact as we do that chasse as well. And lastly, we talked about a bounce action and a gliding action for your stylistic choice in this dance. And again, our rhythm is slow, slow, quick, quick. A slow is two beats and a quick is one. That's all we have for you today. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it to be helpful, please give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and hit that subscribe bell so that you can get notified for videos that we do regularly. Thanks so much again, and we'll see you soon.